Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here with another iPhone SDK tutorial for you guys. I'm programming a UI pop up alert with text fields, guys. This is not on YouTube yet, so I decided I'd post something. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is go to Epcode File New Project. I'm going to create a Windows based application. I'm going to call it Alert Alert Text. Save it to my desktop, whatever. Then I'm going to go into my main window, wait for Interface Builder to load up because you know how Interface Builder sometimes takes forever. Alright, so I'm going to want to drag in a view, and I'm going to class this view as the main view. Then I'm going to add an action as alert. Or I want to name this one push button. And then I'm going to drag in a navigation bar. Name it scanner. Drag in a bar button item. Name that scan. Okay. Now if you were doing a, um, if you want this to be done with a rounded rect button, you do a touch up inside input you'll understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to click on the main view and drag the push button to the scan. Now if you were doing this for a round direct button, a thing would pop up, you do touch up inside, but for this you don't need to. I'm going to write class files, make it, uh, oh, want to select the main view, then write class files, save, check that in, save, command S, command Q. Alright, now I'm going to want to go drag these two right into the classes folder. On the main view.h, we want to declare it as a UI view. And on the main view.m, I'm going to press enter twice and paste in this code. Okay, now this is a lot, so I'm going to stretch it out and make sure you guys can copy that down. So it's UI alert view space star alert equals, and you can see all this. Now, in it with title, this is going to be the main title. This is going to be the semi, this is going to be the semi title. That, leave as self. This is going to be the button they press when, um, this is the button they press that exits the pop-up. If you want another button title, you'd put that other button in there and then put comma nil. Alert. These, this is the two text fields that I'm going to be putting in. And then you want to also put in all this. So just pause the video right now and get and unpause it once you've copied this. Okay, so I'm going to build and go now. And it should work. Oh, I got one error. Let's see what that was, guys. Oh, sorry. Extra little open curly bracket there. Now we're gonna build and go. Okay, it's gonna say scanner and scan. When I press this, crack detected. Why did you do this? Name Joe message because I was a cheap ass. Okay, spare me. And now we're good. Good thing the developer was nice, you know what I'm saying? Because if he wasn't, he would have made that app quit on you. But, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you, like, I'm going to build and go for a second here. Now, you see where it says name? It says it in, like, gray letters. That's going to, that's what says it right here. So if I put, like, test and build and go, save all, it's going to say test where we haven't typed it. You see that right there? But I like that as name. And right here, if we wanted to already put text here, we could make it like dot dot dot, for example. Build and go. Save all. Now, when I press scan, there's already going to be text in this one. And you could X out of that and then type in what you want. Okay? So I just put two quotes there, didn't put anything. And I'm gonna show if you wanted another button, like say you wanted to put cancel right here, you do at quotes cancel. 
close quotes comma now there's gonna be two buttons a cancel and an okay spare me so that's how that works guys but as I said I don't like text there so that's how that is gonna be alright now that's pretty much it I really hope you found this helpful I mean it's a really cool thing uh, so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe have a nice day